Head northeast on Via Porto Lenti toward Via Variety del Testa. Then turn left on Via Santa Fortuna. Hey guys, how's it going? We are headed to the port. We're going to take a ferry to Corsica today. That will probably absorb the majority of the day. So, let's hope that goes smooth. I think traveling via ferry in Europe might be a little easier than traveling from, say, Japan to Taiwan or China to Korea. Less uh, customs problems. But, uh, yeah. We're headed there. We're gonna stop at the port a few hours early, have a cup of coffee, just chill out, just wait. A lot of waiting today. So much for rainy weather. I'm happy with this. I thought we were gonna get rain, rain, rain. Instead, it's blue skies. I will take it. Like with many places, I didn't get to explore Livorno as much as I wanted, or as much as I could. As a port city, there's a lot of hustle bustle here. I gotta imagine people coming and going from all different places. Head northeast on Via della Galere toward Via del Pantalone. So far, so good. So I have my ticket, I bought it yesterday online, which was really crazy because I, I came here early thinking I was gonna go to the ferry booth in Japan. That's kind of a, a convenient way to do it. You go to the terminal, you get your ticket, you tell them about the bike. But anyways, they, they, weren't, they were having a siesta. And so I, uh, I just bought it online. And I added the bike online too. So it should be okay. They just waved me on in. I've got like, uh, two hours to kill. I would always rather be early in these circumstances. That might be, no, that's not, that's a Moby ferry. We're going to be at 62, which is Corsica. Oh, Corsica? All right, just check, past the checkpoint, the last one. Being, uh, led on to if you guys have never boarded a ferry before it's kind of interesting they line up everybody here in different lanes so you can see I'm in lane one there's lane one two three four five six seven all the way up to ten and then they try to sort them out by size so like trailers are over there vans are over there cars are over here semi trucks will be in there as well helicopters aren't allowed on the ferry I don't think I'm first in line first in line they might have us on board earlier. I don't know, maybe. I was gonna go to a coffee shop over there. I have, a, I have a bunch of friends here that ride motorcycles and they're uh, they're gonna go a lot faster than me but it's okay we all travel the way we want to travel right there was a uh, dog here I don't know if I caught him in b-roll but pitbull with a woman and the pitbull looked at my little here I'll show you looked at my wind at my microphone cover it's called a dead cat and the pitbull decided to eat it I was, I was, I was, I was half expecting the uh, microphone to disappear into the uh, into the mouth of uh, and stomach of this uh, animal. <laughs> so crazy. Anyways, he uh, unclenched his jaw for a moment, and uh, I was able to get it out. I was almost going into his mouth too, which I I thought was a stupid decision after the fact. I, I, he could have clamped out on me. This way, this one. It's a little chaotic here. I think they let us go a little too early, and now the, they haven't finished emptying out the ferry yet.
Okay, okay. Okay, guys, it's a five hour ride to Corsica. And uh, now it's about sitting down, finding a comfortable spot, and editing some video. I don't think people realize how pampered you are traveling in Europe. I mean, if you grew up here and you're used to just traveling across countries, uh, the simplicity of just showing your passport really quick with the ticket that you bought online and getting on the ship and then being delivered to the place and just getting off. <laughs> it's not always like that. I mean, you have to go through customs checks and 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 long lines and scrutiny and you got to worry about how the hell you're going to get this trike through this line. I remember crossing the border from China to Vietnam. I had to sort of like leave my trike and I left it with some of the security guys and then I'm also walking the trike through these like <laughs> this snaking line it was it was crazy but here it's just easy easy peasy yeah i think i'll be able to edit some videos and uh, get some get some things done i don't know what's going on with the weather but it seems like the weather is cooperating i was just talking to my friend and uh he's one of my oh they have usb here oh so yeah you can use you see Maybe it's broken. Hey, that's uh, sorry. <laughs> but I told my friend uh, who's French, he's like, you're going to France? Because I had posted something. He says, yeah, yeah, I'm going to Corsica. He's like, that's not really France. It's a territory that France has kind of owned. So I have to make sure not to like insult the locals to be like, hey, you're French. They'll probably say, we're not French. I'm having a beer. Pietra. I think this is from Corsica. Sistans la to. I can't read it, but it says that it's, I think it says it's from Corsica. It's good. I have taken so many ferries <laughs> in the last couple of decades. All over Asia everywhere. I like them. They force you to slow down. Yeah, I mean, you can't force these things to do anything they're not supposed to do, and so you just enjoy the ride. You can get work done. Typically, you don't have very good reception, so you're not distracted by social media or anything. Although, <laughs> my whole profession is social media, so I was designing YouTube videos, which will be on the internet, so I was preparing for social media. Anyways, you just enjoy the view and appreciate the vastness of the um, bodies of water that make up this blue-green marble we live on. It is amazing how much water there is. You know, it's, it's so funny, like, there are places in this world, even places on the coast of this world, that has uh, problems with scarcity of fresh water to drink. Like there's so much water, yet yeah, uh, it's so saturated with salt. Even even a uh, cruel joke, you know. Could you imagine? Could you imagine dehydrating on the coast of some like desert island? You dehydrate. There's water everywhere. You can see the line of weather back there. That's the, those are the storms. That's mainland Italy, and uh, I am hoping that this body of water separates us from the from the really bad stuff. We have been really lucky. I mean, we have just been a day or two ahead of weather this whole trip. Um, I've been monitoring the weather everywhere we've been, and it seems like after 24 hours, everywhere we've been turns into a shit show with like horrible weather. We're able to uh, experience, it. it's uh, like really lucky to be honest. If, if I stayed at a hotel an extra day, I think, it would have been a completely different trip. If I would have like started at, at 24 hours later, it would have been a completely different... I was invited a couple of times at the Speggi show to visit some of the vendors and hang out with some of the people. And if I would have done that and then they would have dropped me off on Lake Garda, it just wouldn't have been the same. It wouldn't have been the same. This is sort of funny. That's the pool. I guess in the summertime that turns into a pool. It's more of like a cruise ship experience. Now everybody's just sort of chilling out around a dried up pool. Alright, I'm in the bowels of the ferry. I always find these places interesting. It's just a parking lot. And these vehicles are so close to barely, barely get out. I don't even know if I'm allowed 
back here, but I figured I wanted to get down here. It is, it is raining in Corsica right now, and I talked to some of my motorcycle friends, and they said they're going to have to decide on what tour they end up taking based on how much rain there is. Uh, I just got my rain gear ready so that I can throw it on before I get kicked out of here. There is a coastal route around Corsica. It's a lot less hilly. It doesn't get into the mountains. And that is a certain option that we can take. So the other thing I was thinking about was my tires. And I was thinking that maybe I should I should swap them out. Just because, especially if I do go to the mountains, I'd like to have a I'd like to have some insurance in those tires and in these uh, Continental Double Fighters seem to wear pretty quick. I don't want a chance that there's a bike shop right outside of the port and we can go directly there, hopefully. Anyways, we're all set. Go back up. doors that uh, let me down here that were open maybe weren't supposed to be open they're all locked like locked locked like pistons driving these doors closed gives you a little a little pause right if this thing was to go down I would be screwed there would be zero way for me to get out of here Zero, zero, zero. I'm in a steel container with no, with no egress. I found a door. I was a little nervous. All right, it is uh, 6.48. We will not make it to the bike shop in time. So I'm gonna find a place to crash uh, near to the bike shop. Because I really would like to get new tires before I continue the tour. Think we go now? I think so, yeah. Catch all this we can. These this lady's mirrors are We're free. We're free to Corsica. All right, now we got to figure out what the hell to do. This is much hillier than uh, the mainland, that's for sure. Gonna have some ups and downs, folks. It's gonna be a challenge. I eat challenges for breakfast. You hear the confidence? Breakfast? 
that body of that van. That is a dot. That is a Ford Transit. If I ever saw one, because all the transits come out. There are a lot of ups and downs. It reminds me of San Francisco. This this city with a little bit more pizzazz, maybe. <laughs> No rain though. No rain. I was expecting rain. Whew. No rain. And it's pretty warm, but uh I think it's just because I'm I'm huffing it, but this is the T11 and I would not like to ride on the T11 on the road. But the bike computer is telling me to. I'm riding on the show on the on the sidewalk, which I don't like to do too much. But there's some steep um, curbs here. It's not really designed for cycling on the uh, on the curb or on the sidewalk. But I'm not on this road for long. It just seems a little bit like a pain in the ass. So there's two bike shops that I would like to visit tomorrow. This is one of them, and it's just an hour closed. I just missed it. It's the giant store, but they've got a big selection in there. The other one's on just down the road a little bit. I found a whole hotel pretty close, like two kilometers away. This place opens at 9.30, but we'll, we'll, we'll either hit this one or the next. I'll, I'll be able to drive by the next one. But I am really not liking the ring road here. I might, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. There, there might be other roads that are continuous around, but this is like a highway. This is no joke. And it, it, this one has a little shoulder, but the shoulders disappear and then reappear randomly. I mean, this is, the, this is what my phone was telling me to take. So this is the bike route. I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, there are country roads that are more towards the water, but I also don't see a lot of bridges over over uh, rivers and stuff. It, it, this is going to be an interesting segment to the journey, and I think what it's going to do is it's going to push me into the mountain and give me a give me a real challenge. I would much rather challenge myself physically than challenge myself like playing chicken on the road here. And I have enough time. I can take it in small bite-sized pieces. And I also checked out and, and found out that there are, there's civilization. It's not like I'm riding through in the middle of nowhere. There'll be places to pick up food and, and rest and, you know. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to settle into the hotel. I mean, these cars are going <laughs> fast. I'm going to settle into the hotel and, uh, and then figure out things from there. And then we'll come here tomorrow morning. We'll set off. This is we're halfway through the trip now, uh, through the cycling journey, just about. So the second half will be, you know, a new journey. Hopefully, no rain. Rain could rain could certainly spoil some things. Although we we're supposed to have rain right now. Does that look like rain? All right. So I'm all checked in. Took a shower. Cleaned up. Ciao. Hello. I, I can't say ciao anymore. I'm not in Italy. I keep saying Italian. <laughs> but it's a, it's a little madness for cycling. I hope that the bike shop tomorrow gives me some good news. Anyways, I should have some a good meal today. Good dinner. It's, it's kind of funny because I had just gotten finished talking about how, you know, I, I have these apprehensions when I get to new places and have to get over them. But I don't know if I can get over the, the speed at which those cars were driving on that road. That was insane. I hope that the mountain roads are, uh, are not like that. I'm a little bit nervous that all the roads are going to be that crazy. Unless you get on like the the like uh, dirt bike roads i can't do that not for long this is a buffet I've... <laughs> i i'm not sure how much it costs or anything but, but i ordered it 
New, new beer to the list. There's like a, a party next to us, and uh, they're playing like uh, what's the song? There is a house in New Orleans. They call the, the Rising Sun, and, but he's in. It's doing it in French. He's doing it in French. Oh, pretty good. Anyways, my pasta came out. It looks like. Uh, like uh, elbows like I used to have as a kid like mm. it's good all right guys I'm gonna eat my food here I'm gonna hit the hay and uh, plan out tomorrow tomorrow we're gonna go to the bike shop we're gonna get a game plan we're gonna head up into the mountains and we're gonna start making our way south however it works Good luck.